I recorded this video again because the first time is no sound. Oh, okay. Hi. Nice to see you guys. Nice to see you guys. Long time no see, but uh, I'm here again. And uh, at this time, I will bring you guys a new breakdown of my new piece of work. And uh, I will keep this video as short, as fast as possible. So I will directly starting to explain what I did. And uh, so let's begin. <clears throat> this is the second time of the recording. So uh, at the beginning, I just uh, actually I have a draw a sketch first, and then starting to use uh, Blender and uh, uh, Dance 3D to do the uh, 3D uh, fundamental stuff for me to uh, as, uh, use as a base. And uh, here I used uh, Dust 3D to do this naked girl, and then used uh, Blender to starting to modeling the basic design. <clears throat> and uh, I have a trying. I'm trying the different uh, composition because this is uh, composition for my uh, of my sketch. I, I I draw the sketch. I draw the sketch in this composition, but uh, I think maybe I can try some different angle. Uh, after I build the 3D, and uh, I, I also try the different design. <coughs> this is gray stuff doesn't really exist in the original sketch. And uh, try the different material, the different angle, and, <coughs> and the, the thing from this angle is is uh, more have that um, uh, is more have that. Um, uh, gestation filling, I think, because from this angle you can't really see the silhouette of the of the of the body of uh, is kind of uh, 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 similar of uh, of a baby inside a, inside of the mother's belly. <coughs> and, uh, I'm, I'm trying the different. I, 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 I'm trying the different shape of the rope of of of, of, of the wire. And um, yeah, basically just uh, trying the design. The design is finished pretty fast, pretty fast because I uh, just uh, made that kind of similar as the with, with the sketch. But uh, I, I will render a different, different angle, and uh, change a little bit of the lighting. And uh, I think this one is pretty good. So I start to photo bash. Just use simple. Just simply use different photo to uh, uh, build the detail of the of the body. And the, the, actually, this does really um, um, stuff. This it doesn't really doesn't really work. This is is does really naked girl looks pretty ridiculously wrong. The anatomy just uh, ridiculously wrong so I have to uh, change the shape and uh, yeah basically you have to really learn the anatomy to uh, do uh, uh, to do uh, beautiful stuff if you just rely totally rely on that 3d I guess that doesn't really work and uh, yeah <coughs> try a different color and uh, keep photo bashing, keep photo bashing, and I have add some uh, light at here and uh, render the 3D again because I think this stuff is easier to finish in 3D than uh, draw that by hand or photo bash that because the, all the, the the water is affected by the lighting, the body is affected by the lighting, the environment is affected by the lighting. But it's small light and here, so it's better to do that in 3D. That is the easiest way for me. And uh, I did this stuff kind of in a way that kind of similar with. Uh, if you guys have the experience of building the tank model in real life, I guess this is uh, 
very similar to that because in uh, when you are building a, a tank model in real life you just uh, uh, stick all the different parts of the plastic tank together and then you stick some sticker on it that is the detail of the tank and uh, that will significantly increase the realistic level of that modeling of that model so this is this specific design is actually following the similar approach but i don't really use this approach for my other work it only works for this one because the design is flat everything is flat everything is just uh, uh, uh it doesn't really is not a lot of three-dimensional shape at there not so many three-dimensional object at there so the photo bashing is kind of works in a way that uh, feels like some sticker on it so just uh, this one is a cap for this um, object for this container <laughs> for this container containing the girl and uh, is uh, is a cap for the for girl for this girl to grow inside inside this uh, instrument, and this is the um, entire view of this device. Um, I don't want to do more uh, photo bashing detail for this one. I just want to show the function uh, through this rendering. So it's kind of explaining how this stuff is worked. And I don't really have time to really finish all of it. And uh, I, I'm also wanted to this. I, I wanted this picture looks um, in a better composition. Kind of makes uh, just gives you gives the audience a better feeling instead of uh, simply showing the function. And so and uh, here just I keep adding the detail. I will, I will I will go through the PSD file later so you can see how I did all this detail later and uh, here just kind of the uh, just kind of like a a adding the different stuff on it just kind of like sticker it's, it's pretty simple this specific uh, picture is, is it's pretty easy to finish pretty simple for photo fashion it's very easy and uh, here I think this wires maybe <coughs> it's better to have some color because it's kind of blending into the environment because they are both white So I tried the yellow first and then I tried a different color and then I decided this bluish a uh, bluish green is the, the best one I think because maybe just because I like this color and they're trying the different um, Shading the trying the different and the giving give the hair some detail and you can see this all, all this stuff is just comes from some other uh, resource, photo bashing resource, and uh, just keep photo bashing, keep photo bashing, and then changing the, uh, doing some trim for the hair and the, the shading, and the adding some uh, light in it, add some light, and then keep doing some effect and, uh, here I think maybe I should after I did this uh, I, I, I finished the uh, this uh, work in this stage I think maybe I should add some uh, light inside of the water because that helps me to uh, show the silhouette of this girl's body and also made the design itself looks more interesting so I have tried the different the different size count kind of, basically the different size of that ring and uh, I, I decided this one is, is kind of the best best one, and then I put that there, and uh, doing some add some lighting and effect on it. Basically, that's it. So let's went through the PSD file. I think this one this time I I, I did the uh, explanation much faster than the first time. Maybe I will skip some uh, skip some uh, uh, unnecessary stuff. So it's much better. And uh, this this one is uh, is using the curve tool to adjust the uh, overall black and the white label and uh, a noise la a noise layer.
and then this one is kind of like the 3D effect. Just you, you can use 3D glasses to see this. Just I don't really know the name. It doesn't really have a name, I think. And uh, you can see this effect a lot in some video I don't know, nowadays. And uh, for me, I think this stuff helps me to make this picture look more realistic. But uh, for the most of the time, when I was doing the design for my client, I have to remove this effect because that uh, made the picture not as clear as um, as before. And uh, the 3D artists need the uh, picture as clear as possible for them to build the 3D. And also the noise, all the noise will also decrease the uh, clear level of the picture. So I usually when I was doing the design I have to remove this two effect but since this one is just a personal work so I have to make that uh, as realistic as possible so I will keep that there oh, oh, oh what happened to my computer oh oh gosh what what is that oh gosh and um this one is the lighting and the shading layer I have uh, separated the lighting, the lighting, the light, and uh, the shading, the shadow into the different layer. Basically, add some uh, light and the uh, shadow in different layer. It's just easier to control, and it also helps me to keep the detail out there. And uh, this one is the detail of the wires and uh, this stuff is comes from space station they have some uh, in space station they have so many wires out there and they they I just use the uh, this stuff to do uh, for my design um, and also this one I think in the, in the in the 3d rendering this stuff this wire looks a bit of boring this tube looks boring and uh, I use some uh, photo to make that looks more organic and also more interesting, and also have some more, also have more texture on it. This is the design, the sticker. This is kind of fr comes from uh, IF twenty two or IF thirty five, I guess. And uh, this line is draw by hand other stuff is just uh, works like a sticker this photo fashion and uh, I will simply copy copy this one to here and uh, adjust the uh, position it's pretty pretty easy and this one is, is totally come this one is an entire picture comes from F35 I'm I'm so freaking lazy <laughs> I'm so freaking lazy <laughs> and then some sticker from the girl on the girl's body. To, I don't want to do. I don't want it to be totally naked. It just doesn't really interested me to be totally naked. So I try to make it more interesting. And some of the detail of the water and uh, the photo bashed the uh, photo bashed body and uh, all of this hair is just some. Uh, reference I, I, I planned I, I thought maybe I could show you guys the how I did the hair and the body but uh, all of the picture is naked so I'm better than do it I guess I'm better than do it is right and uh, but you can see the detail you can see is 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 built built by so many so many different layers I use that uh uh, all the small pieces to build up the detail and uh, I will give it a mask and uh, erase the unuseful part of the photo and then uh, leave the useful part right there and uh, some of that is using the darken mode it's called mode right for this this stuff it's mode right mm, basically that's it this is the not for the entire work is for the uh, that's it for the uh, girl
spotty. And there's some of the detail of the environment, the detail of the of this device, and then this one is also copied. Finish the right first, and then copy to the left. That is what I did. And uh, adjust the uh, black and the white label with this layer. This one is the wire. This one is for me to add add the, add the, uh, the because I, I I did this at a different time, so I will only leave this added part at there and erase the other stuff using the mask of the layer to do that. That is basically my approach. So that's it. This is a, this is a, a TSD breakdown for uh, this one for this work. Basically, that's it. And uh, <clears throat> there is another bonus breakdown for my previous work, but I will uh, make it very simple. I'm recording, right? Okay, I'm recording. <clears throat> I will be totally frustrated if I'm not recording. And uh, this one is a SpaceX fan art. I have it, uh, finished the character design first. Is slightly different, trying some different stuff for the helmet, maybe also the body. I forgot and uh, draw a rough sketch for a composition and uh, build the uh, clothes in uh, Marvelous Designer. And uh, this body is comes from uh, the, uh, 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 that studio. And you can I, I, I found some. Uh, uh, tutorial online is free. It's free on YouTube and uh, is uh, teaching you how to use that uh, studio as a base, as the avatar for a marvelous designer. So you can uh, do the clothes design uh, on top of it and uh, put that in Blender and uh, some of and uh, yeah, just do the different design in Blender and. Um, trying the different rendering is kind of similar approach with uh, my new work but for this one is the different is the so many of the design so many of the um, design is comes from photo bashing so many three dimensional object is photo bashed like the this device on the chest like the um, belt and also some other stuff this the, uh, this one Maybe I think this one is this this stuff is from astronauts suits and uh, this stuff is also I've also seen this stuff in uh, in space station, so I'm not really sure what is that. It looks like some uh, uh, air conditioner control or something, but I don't really know. It, 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 it looks cool, so I put it there. And then some uh, other bag, transparent bag, added a different detail. So yeah, this one is comes from uh, pilots, pilots suit, pilots suit, and um, photo back the background. Okay, photo back, and uh, I replaced this three D rendering entirely because it looks so ridiculous. Looks so ridiculous, and add some dust. At there, and then some redstone, small adjustment, cute photo bash, the design, cute photo bash. Maybe next time I will not do this kind of detail in, in Blender anymore because photo bashing is just way more easier. And uh, add some detail for this arm, a small hand at here. And I have added some uh, rocket because this is a space state, SpaceX fan art, so maybe add some uh, rocket is more interesting. And uh, I try to remove it and add it, remove it, add it uh, to see which one is better. <laughs> I have tried a different place and a different size. I have tried a, a huge rocket at here and at here, a huge rocket and a small, very tiny rocket at here. 
and I will try to some uh, rocket fly in the sky, and I think this one uh, works works the best. And, uh, yeah, basically that's it, right? And uh, I tried uh, to turn the dust into bluish green, and uh, I don't think that it looks better than yellow, and uh, so I turn it back to yellow. And uh, that's it. This one is the detail. This is an app. Here is a dog. He's pretty funny. That's it. Okay. This is today. This is the uh, today's video. And uh, I hope you guys you guys find this this is uh, helpful and useful. And um, if you find this one is helpful and useful, please click the like button and uh, um, subscribe my channel. I will do more stuff in the future. Um, that really helps my uh, channel a lot and uh, maybe you can also share this video uh, to a friend if they are interested in uh, photo bashing also in concept design realistic concept design and I uh, hope this video really helps you guys and uh, yeah see you guys next time